No! The only normal person here, we lost them! Mahiru Koizumi, the ultimate photographer. She had an unyielding force of personality, but she was actually very good at taking care of people. And she was always straightforward. Toward us and toward herself, she was always facing forward. She was that kind of person. Why her? Why Mahiru? Why? Why did this happen to her? The muscles in my face stiffened and grew hard. Darkness clouded my vision. My legs started to wobble, and I instinctively placed my hand against the wall. Hey, Hajime. Before this, we were having a great time, right? We were excited about going to the beach. We were having a lot of fun. But why? Why did something like this happen? Someone tell me! I obviously don't know what's going on either. Huh? Um... Now's not the time to make bubbles! Hurry and get the others! Ibuki instantly left the beach house. I'm sure it took some time for everyone else to come here. They had to change and whatnot. It must have taken some time. But I didn't really know how much time had passed. My senses were numbed. My emotions were also numbed. Within me, various layers were peeling off. My senses started to return around the time I realized the others were already here. What the hell is this? Why, Mahiru? The girls were standing outside the door leading to the beach, their faces pale with terror. For heaven's sake, what in the world is going on? With their pale faces still intact, the girls began wobbling toward the beach house. Until a voice stopped them. Huh, hold on a sec. Those things beneath you, be careful not to step on them. Beneath? You know, the footprints in front of that door. There are footprints leading out of the beach house, right? That's probably an important clue. Uh, oops, I might have ruined that. <laughs> probably Hyoko. So, don't step on them. If you mean evidence... Yep. Monokuma mentioned it in the announcement, right? After a certain amount of time, we'll hold a class trial. Another class trial? Then, are you saying this is... That's right! What if you guys killed her? Killed? That's impossible! It's not like an accident or something? If you guys think that's an accident, that still means this death was caused by someone else's actions, right? That also counts as a legitimate murder. Okay, the way he's phrasing that, does that mean that this might actually be an accident? Though such deaths fall into a gray area on this island, I will make sure it's clear to you guys. On this island, dying from sickness is basically the only death not considered a murder. Well, it's impossible to get sick and die on this island, not when Monomi takes such good care of people. Oh, speaking of which! Oh, poor Monomi! There it is, the silent treatment attack. This is like the number one thing that hurts me. Well, fine. I'm not gonna lose your bashing. I've decided to become a tough kid. This is... this is the worst. Once again, this horrible nightmare. Another victim, and it's all because of Monokuma. Jeez, it's not my fault. Huh? Then whose fault is it, you ask? <laughs> to find out, we hold the class trial. <laughs> so, let's begin already. No whining, just begin already. <laughs> okay, 
I shall pass out the Monokuma file number two. This should start to feel familiar. Come back, Dana. Now then, do your very best to investigate. I'll see you later at the class trial. <laughs> class trial? Investigation? This is horrible. It's just too horrible. They just should have stopped the murder before it occurred. Don't you have that kind of power? That I did have the power before he appeared. Even if she tried to stop it, judging from Monokuma and Monomi's relationship, there's no doubt she'd get stopped herself. Yes, Monokuma took everything away, including the magic stick and the surveillance cameras. The only thing I can rely on are these ears, but they can only hear about three times out of a normal person. You're uh... So basically, you have no idea what's happening on this island in the first place. <laughs> I'm just the worst! A powerless rabbit like me is the worst! Oh, I'm so sad! <laughs> hey, now's not the time to focus on something like that. More importantly, what should we do? <laughs> do we have to do it again? That cruel thing! We have to do it again?! I cannot believe it! Mahito was killed by one of us! Yeah, I can't do this anymore! Investigating! The class trial! Seriously, I'm done! Everyone feels the same, but we can't do anything else except do it. And... There's no way we can just ignore the reason Mahito was killed. Yeah, the only thing we can do is investigate. Because we should never forgive that. Killing is something we should never forgive. Chiaki. The killer has their reasons, I understand that. It was the same for Teru Teru, too. It's really all Monokuma's fault. I understand that, too. Wow, she, she really understands everything. But even so... We should never forgive killing. She usually has her head in the clouds, so for her to say something like that... She probably can't forgive this at all. But that's true of me too. Regardless, everyone is going to die if we don't do it. In order for us to all survive, we must do it. And let's do this. Mahiru probably wants us to do this too. She would want us to reveal the truth behind her death. I understand. If everyone's doing it, I will do it too, but... But please give me a little time. Please give me time to calm myself down a little. Also, I will go tell the others who aren't here about this. You're right. If all you heard was the announcement, you won't know where the murder took place. <laughs> I shall excuse myself for now. <sighs> Then, let's begin. Who killed Mahiru Koizumi? Why was she killed? <laughs> we gotta find out and solve this already. That's right. We have to do it. It's the only way. I don't want to do this, but that's more the reason for us to finish this. I'm the only one who can do this! First, I need to take a look at the Monokuma file. The victim is Mahiru Koizumi. Estimated time of death is around 3 p.m. Oh, that's when Kazuichi and I met up. The scene of the crime where the body was discovered is inside the beach house at Chandler Beach. The cause of death is a single killing blow to the head with a blunt instrument. There are no other conspicuous external injuries and no trace of foreign substances such as drugs. Around 3 p.m. That's the time Kazuichi and I arrived at the diner. Then, if we had just gone to the beach house instead... No, now's not the time to feel regret. I need to focus on doing as much as I can right now. And then, I'm gonna find out the truth behind Mahiru's death. That's the only way the rest of us can survive. Hang on, okay? So, since Kazuichi and I met up at 3pm, 
We met a whole bunch of people after that. Ibuki, Peko, actually everyone here, we met them. But just because we met them afterwards, does that mean that we can erase the people that we're seeing here right now off your suspicion? Because uh, they could have, theoretically, they could have killed Mahiro at 3 and then left for a little bit and then joined us later, right? Right? Uh, maybe? Uh... And also, remember how we saw Hyoko too. That's something to keep in mind. What is this? This is suspicious, I think. Did you find some kind of clue? You know the footprints from earlier? They were in front of the entrance facing the beach, right? Oh, that. Hajime and Kazuichi's footprints show that you guys were the first ones to go inside the beach house. But these footprints are just the opposite. They're coming out of the beach house. Now that you mention it, I thought those footprints were strange too. You did? Uh... At first, I tried to go into the beach house from the door facing the road. We didn't even try doing that. But it didn't open, so I went around and tried to go in from the beach side door. You couldn't go inside from the roadside door because Mahiru's body was blocking it, right? Uh... And that's when I noticed these footprints. The footprints leading from the beach house to the tunnel look like they belong to one person. Someone's footprints leading out of the beach house, huh? That's definitely suspicious. Huh? Now that you mention it, Heko said she went for a little swim, right? Could those footprints be... Yeah. Unfortunately, I went swimming to scout the first beach. I do not know anything about this beach. Is that really true? But these footprints lead straight from the beach house to the tunnel. Since I was swimming at the beach, of course my footprints would lead from the shore to the tunnel. Huh? Then whose footprints are these? It's no mistake that these are the killer's footprints, but I have no clue who that might be. Ah, uh, I'm not comfortable with you people making jumps like that all the time. It just means that someone was here and they left the beach house, right? It doesn't mean... Like, they could be here for the killing, but that still doesn't mean they're the killer. Well, for now, it's obvious that this is a clue, don't you think? Yes, it's probably an extremely important clue. Hmm, according to the size, can we not check? Because if it's Hyoko, someone like Hyoko who is so short, her foot size might be, should be pretty small too, so if it is Hyoko, that would be really, really obvious. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. Yup. Maybe there's a clue inside this trash can. That's what I thought, but... Hmm, there's only a bunch of empty plastic bottles, I don't see anything that looks like a clue. <laughs> you know what those bottles are from? It's all the presents we gave everybody. They hate us! They're throwing it away! I guess it's not that easy, huh? What? You said it's not a clue, but you use it as a truth bullet? Okay. There's a lot of drinks inside the refrigerator, but... Compared to last time, I feel like there's less drinks. Did people take a lot of drinks from here? Not only that, the only drinks left in here look either sweetened or colored. Oh, so the... The water! They took the water out, right? They look unhealthy. Hmm, this would be really bad for me because I only drink water, so... I would be dying of thirst here. Should we talk to the people first or look at the stuff? There's a lot of stuff here. Maybe we'll look in here? So, this is the shower room. There's a notice on the door. Judging from the illustration, it looks like it's being repaired or under construction. Something like that. That's right! The shower is being repaired, so water won't come out! But what about- But what about hot water? Well, that's impossible too! If the shower is out of order, then isn't it just a waste of space? I'm sorry! Just when I was planning to fix it, my magic stick was taken from me! So I never got around to fixing it! What the heck? What does your magic stick have to do with repairing? 
anyway, it's on Monokuma's fault. Everything is on Monokuma's fault. Your doubtful eyes are telling me you think I'm Monokuma's accomplice. You must have read my mind. Think what you want of me. I've already given up. But let me tell you this one more time. As long as you guys work together, you should be able to stand against any kind of despair. You're starting to sound like Nagito. I promise I will help with that. What help? You're doing the opposite. Oh, well, you know, so far she hasn't done anything. Oh, well. Anyway, it looks like the shower room is definitely out of order. But I guess I should check the inside too. What? Go check the inside? Whoa! When did you get in here? This is a really nice, really spacious shower room. If it's this huge, you could also use it as a dressing room. But changing in the beach house is forbidden. Jeez, what an unreasonable rule. Hmm. There's a toilet, but you can't really use it as a step stool. Oh? Why are we- we are immediately jumping to the conclusion that we can climb out of this window, aren't we? Guess no one's in here. I was thinking the killer was hiding in here after they failed to escape. It wouldn't be that easy. There's a window. It's small, but maybe you can crawl out of it somehow. Eh, if it's small, Hyoko? Can you even lift that up? Well, it probably doesn't mean anything if someone can crawl through it. But I can't seem to take my mind off of it. However, the ceiling is really high, so that window is also situated in a very high place. It's so high that even if I stretch out my hand, I can't reach it. It's probably about 9 feet up. I have no idea how much 9 feet is. Can we start using the metric system here? Yeah, so... A person cannot escape alone, is that what you're saying? And not just that, it's an iron-barred window, if that's the case. Yup, it'd be impossible to go in and out through here. There. What? Are you still thinking about that window? Yeah, I was thinking the killer might have escaped through there. Alright, I got it. I'll pitch in and help you out. Huh? Come on, give me a piggyback ride. I'll check the window for ya. Pitch in and help? It feels like I'm the one who's pitching in and helping. No, no, I'll stand on you, okay? You don't stand on me, because I think I think you're probably more muscular and heavier than me. <laughs> if you don't hurry up, I'll punch ya. She's really into this. No matter what I say, it's not gonna matter. Fine, I'll just leave it to you. <laughs> don't worry, my panties are clean. Oh, okay. Probably you're not actually talking about a real piggyback ride, right? You're talking about the kind where the person's legs drape off of the other person's shoulders. I see, that's good. That is not a piggyback ride. <laughs> I let out a deep sigh, then bent over under the window. Alright! As she shouted, I kinda jumped onto my shoulders. <sighs> yeah, like that. I'm only a two. Yeah, muscle is heavier than fat, something, something. Massage uh, there's way too many questions in this one sentence, so let's just forget about it. I shouldn't have asked. Yeah, 
ほら見てみろよみ見てみろってちょっと待ってやってみるから With a kana on my shoulders, I craned my neck so high that I started to worry. Oh, Wait, if Akana can fit in here, that means like 99% of everyone else can fit in here too, right? Pretty much everybody besides Nekomaru. Akane jumped off my shoulders and flashed a wide grin. <laughs> Isn't this a big discovery? But the problem is, how were they able to reach that window?、Uh, just like what you did, right? Someone must have helped someone else escape. Hmm. We don't know who escaped, but whoever helped, could it be Mahiru?、Mm. Or could it be whoever left the beach house already? The footprints. Hmm. Even if I jump, I can't really reach it. <laughs> But if two people work together like us, it wouldn't be a problem, right? If that's the case, it would mean that the killer had an accomplice. Huh? Accomplice? Sounds like a big word. Is that the name of a kung fu master? Yes, it is, Akane. But even if there was an accomplice, the person acting as the step stool would still be inside Mahiru. Or the person with the footprints. Tsukasa. Huh. Now, think about why. Why do they need to escape through here? Is it because they don't want to create a footprint? Is it because their footprint is too distinct? Or is there another reason altogether? Wait. But if you really think about it, just one person could get out of here without help, right? Huh, really? Akane, magic doesn't count. Yeah, like. Freaking ninja could do, you know? A ninja can climb fences and walls no problem, right? Hmm, just as I thought. It looks difficult to go in and out through that window. What the heck? And I even took the time to lend you my wisdom. You're the one who said it was suspicious, so I took the time to pitch in and help. It was such a waste of my time to help you out. All you saw were my panties. No, I didn't. Oh well. It's not like it's the end of the world. I'm telling you, I didn't look at them. I couldn't have anyway. Hmm. I guess that's pretty much everything I noticed in the shower room. Oh, <sighs> Fair enough, fair enough. It's kind of unexpected though. Only one shower in the entire house? Isn't this like a public location? Okay, there's a lot of circles here. Let's go in order somehow. This is too weird! Something this weird should only happen in song lyrics! Okay. That's weird. What now? What do you mean?、Uh... Well, I wanted to calm myself a little, so I thought about getting a drink from that refrigerator. When I opened it a few days ago, I'm pretty sure there was a larger variety of drinks.、Ah. Well, I guess I'm just imagining things. I mean, who cares about drinks right now, huh? What are you talking about?、Huh? Seriously, it's okay. I've resolved it on my own, so just drop it. What the heck? You started it. So that's the cue for us to look in the fridge, which we already did. Hmm. I will never forgive killing. Hmm. Shikashi. Chiaki seemed quite different from her usual self. She must feel very strongly about killing. That. It's not just Chiaki. There's no way anyone would forgive something like this. <sighs> I guess you're right. Isn't it a little bit strange that you're fixating on what Chiaki is saying with a dead body in front of us? Priorities, man. Mahiru probably wants us to do this too. She would want us to reveal the truth behind her death. But what she really wanted. She probably wanted to spend time with all of us peacefully without something like this happening. Ah,、uh, I mean, 
Mahito had her own problems with guys and all, but I think out of everybody here, she is probably who I would want as an older sister. Like I said, I'm an only child, so sometimes I'm just like, oh, I'm so lonely, I have no siblings. And as someone who is kind of protective of her supposed siblings, you know, it's, it's nice, it's nice as an only child. According to the Monokuma file, the fatal blow was dealt to Mahiru with a blunt object. That blunt object, it's this metal bat, right? Huh? This metal bat? Hmm. It's the same as the Twilight Syndrome murder case. Are you saying that because you also played the game, or... Is it because you know about the original series? Huh? There's a girl named Girl E. <laughs> a girl named Girl E. Who was killed in the game during the fourth day. Wait, you definitely played it. That girl was killed with a blow from a metal bat, just like Mahiru. This photo is so strangely realistic, it kind of scares me. Did you... Did you also play that game, Hajime? Is that why you're curious about the metal bat? Yeah, that's exactly it, but... Did you play it too? Then I'm sure you know this, but... The case this time is strongly connected to Twilight Syndrome murder case, I think. In order to solve the mystery behind Mahiru's death, you probably need to go solve the game's mystery too. But even if you solve the game's mystery, all the clues in it were lousy and useless. I mean, it started ambiguously, and it was still ambiguous when it ended. That's because you haven't beaten the game. Beaten? I finished the game with a game over, but were you able to beat it? No. Not some girl gamer who talks about video games she's never beaten. <laughs> There's a lot I can say about this, but let's pretend I don't have anything to say. So, what am I supposed to do to actually beat the game? I can't stop thinking about that for some reason. But for now, I should focus on this investigation. So, it's okay to say that this metal bat is absolutely the murder weapon, right? Eh, absolutely? That's a very strong word. It seems like probably everybody here played the game. So, we really should have just destroyed the machine or played it together. Wait, you can go in here. The closet door is half open. The last time I came here, that wasn't the case. That's a little suspicious. I should probably investigate inside here too. <laughs> well, I think it's more suspicious because the closet is next to the dead body, not because it's open, right? Because, you know, it's a freaking closet. It's either open or closed. This is a pretty spacious walk-in closet. But there's so much crap on the shelves and floor, only one person could stand in here. Ah, oh, it looks pretty spacious to me. But if you think about it that way, it means it's possible for only one person to stay in here. Well, if you put it like that, you're trying to tell me that someone was hiding in here, right? Oh! Flotation devices, snorkels, nets. There's also some paint supplies, too. Hmm, there's not much else that could be related to the incident. Stuff on the shelves, surfboards, surfboard case. Not put away properly at all. Two boards on one shelf, some boards left out, not in the case. And there's an empty surfboard case as well. So are you trying to tell me that... Is this just because the last person who was in here didn't clean up, or was it used recently? Jeez, how careless. <laughs> You're like the same degree of careless, so I don't- Oh! You found me. I did. Hey. These wetsuits. Is this where Sonia got her wetsuits? Ha. Uh, oh, we didn't talk to Sonia yet. Hmm? There's something on the floor. 
This yellow thing is a gummy candy. Finding candy on the floor in a place like this is clearly unnatural. If it's connected to the incident, did someone drop this while they were inside the closet? Well, I'm pretty sure we're all suspecting the same person here. Um, I guess that's the only thing that caught my eye inside this closet. Sure. Oh, Sonia? What are your thoughts? Oh, I did talk to Sonia. I'm going crazy. Let's see here. There's a blood trail. There's blood stains on the floor, and they're streaked as if she crawled through them. They were probably streaked from when Mahiru tried to run away during the attack. So, she used all her energy to crawl away, and she took her last breath as she was leaning against the door. Ah! Hajime's conclusion seems to be saying that she was trying to run away. But her pose... That doesn't look like someone who's trying to run away. It kind of looks more like she's trying to block the door on purpose, really. Hmm? What's this? Is this a mask? Did someone bring this from the toy section of the supermarket? Or maybe party goods? Regardless, why is this even here? Did the killer wear that to conceal their face? Eh, not likely I would say, cause... Most people here have a pretty distinct height and body shape, right? So it would be pretty hard to conceal anything. No, they totally stand out. I mean, it's such a gaudy mask. A gaudy mask? <gasps> that mask? No way, is it sparkling justice? You've seen this? <laughs> Sunwitch Esper Ito! It is a super fun anime with a viewership surpassing 90% in my country! <laughs> 90%?! An anime that has a viewership of over 90%? Is Sonya's country really alright? Masaka. <laughs> Could it be? Was that mask placed next to the body? Yeah, it was. If that is true, could it be? Could it be what? Um, please give me some time. For reasons unknown, Sonia rushed out of the beach house. What's with her? It looks like she knows something. If that's the case, I shall wait until she decides to talk about it. Hmm. For Sonia to be so worked up, it must be something big. I'm hoping she went to the library to check. I wonder what she knows. Cause she seems to like that place, so... Oh! This is a girl? I thought it was a pretty boy. <laughs> ah. Hey, there's some blood on the knob. Mahito was leaning against this door, so I couldn't open it. Last but not least. She's lost all life in her body. It's as if she's a shell. Is this really the energetic Mahiru I knew? I see her laying in front of me, but I still can't believe it. I can't connect this lifeless body to the high-spirited Mahiru. But we don't have time to wallow in sentiment. There's no way I can just stand here. I slapped both my hands onto my cheeks and faced Mahiru's body one more time. Mahiru is leaning against the beach house door that leads to the road. If she leaned onto the door like this, it would have been impossible to open. So I feel like there is some sort of theme, not theme, but some sort of connection about escape here. The footprints, the window, the blocked door, something connecting these things. Maybe Mahiru tried to run away when she was attacked, and tried to crawl to the door. Yeah, like I said, the pose. The pose makes me think that that's not the case. Evidence can be seen in the blood stains on the floor. They're streaked as if she crawled through them. Hmm. So, she used all her energy to crawl away, leaned against the door, and took her last breath. For someone as headstrong as her to run, 
She must have felt really desperate. Maybe she wasn't running. Um, I guess I finished investigating all I can. But there's still not enough. Just from the clues here, I don't think I have enough to find the truth. Looks like I should try investigating that again to find out why Mahiru got killed. Twilight Syndrome murder case. Girl E was killed in that game by a single blow from a metal bat. Metal bat? That's the same weapon that was used to kill Mahiru. That... There's no way that's just a coincidence, right? In truth, this game's theme is a missing link. You know, it's a recurring theme for mysteries, right? It's kind of like a hidden connection. A missing link? If that's the killer's motive for killing this time, then that mystery must also be hidden inside that game. Plus, the person who might know about that mystery is standing right next to me. I should ask her about it. Oh, I wonder if Girl E could have been saved if we played the game differently. Like in the context of Danganronpa, we probably couldn't have played it differently, but... I'm a little bit worried about that possibility. Because, you know how Girl E is killed, or Mahiru was killed the same way as Girl E? If Girl E could have been saved in the game, does that imply that Mahiru didn't have to die? That's a little bit sad for me to think about. Before that... No! No! Click the wrong thing! Hey Chiaki, I have something I want to ask you. Are you okay right now? Are you done investigating here already? Huh? I think I've finished investigating once through. Mm. Then let's go. G go? Dakarasa. You want to know about Twilight Syndrome, right? Then I think you should actually play it yourself. Shippa. So, let's go. Yeah, you're right. With Chiaki leading, I left the beach house and headed over to Jabberwock Park where that unsettling arcade machine was placed. 